Now you don't have to pay all these thousands and thousands of dollars like Cycle Cruise is out here to have fun on a proper bike out here. You can get a proper bike for two thousand dollars or less, and you don't have to get a Chinese bike either. <laughs> Yeah, I know a lot of you guys out there would love to have this 2019 custom YZ450 FX that can be tuned with a smartphone. You can tune the power on it. I made it street legal, absolutely beast animal of a bike. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys can't afford that brand new. This was like nine thousand dollars And I put about two thousand bucks. I think I put into it, but a lot of you guys a cycle cruise I don't have money like that man You know what I'm saying you're like times are tough out here You need to talk about some of these cheap motorcycles. I can get I can pick up pay cash for have fun out here on the streets Well, you know what guys? This is the video for you because these are the top five motorcycles that I found that you can buy for $2,000 or less. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. First off guys, make sure you're wearing gear when you get that bike. And if you want to get my gear like these gloves, this airbag vest to help keep you safe out there on the streets, this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, uh, links to all of my gear, including my camel pants, are in the description and comment section of my videos. All right, let's go for a ride. Hear that brap, brap, brap. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You know, there's some really cool bikes out there to be had for ultra cheap, ultra cheap, man. You don't have to pay all these, these big bucks for these bikes, you know, that these these fancy Ducati and the Prilla. You don't have to spend all that money for your bike to get a really sick bike. And I'll tell you guys, five bikes that I found on Cycle Trader. I'll tell you, number five, 2016 Hyosung GT 250R. <laughs> Brand new, $2,000 cool looking bike yes i know it what is it i don't know if it's made in indonesia or china or taiwan or something actually these motorcycles are made in south korea cool fact the gt 250r's engine was developed in japan and actually hyasung used to produce suzuki motorcycles for a period of time the hyasung 250s have been out for a long time guys and i hear good positive things about that bike it may not be your top-notch bike like the CBI 300R or any, you know, Honda, Kawasaki, or any of the Japanese bikes, but it's still a pretty great bike at a bargain price, and it looks sick. You know, I'm going to tell you guys, y'all guys out here that are trying to get some women on your motorcycle, you know what I'm saying? You want to look cool, because I know some of you guys' uh, looks are very important. And I tell you, these women out here, you know, they, they, you're riding a higher sung, they don't know if that is a higher sung or a Honda. They, they're going to think you look cool on it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So, that may be the bike for you. And I tell you, the little bikes are what, uh, in my opinion, the little bikes is where it, uh, the bikes to be had out here on the, city, on the city streets. Because you can't, you know, I have, I've had liter bikes, as you guys know. I use very little of that power. Very rarely do I get to light it up. And when I light it up, I'm taking a huge risk of my license having a real effed up day. <laughs> and uh, I tell you, I have more fun on these little lightweight bikes, especially this YZ. Woo! I tell you, if you can afford to get one of these bad boys, you ought to do so. Uh, but... Uh, I know a lot of people can't make these street legal in some of the states out there and they, these do require higher maintenance than them your regular street bikes but anyways number four is a 2006 Kawasaki Ninja 650 I've recommended the Ninja 650 as one of the best beginner bikes and even a great bike for experienced riders it's a cool looking bike you know the, the older bike may not be as cool as like the 2008 and newer ninja 650s but they're still pretty cool man and for those of you guys who don't really care about looks and you want a top-notch bike 
I'm telling you guys, that's the bike to get and it's great for tall riders out there. You'll look decent on the bike and you won't look like a big old dude on a little tiny bike because that's a bigger bigger bike and you'll you'll look proper on the bike. And you can pick that up for eighteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Is that a deal or what? I'm not connected in any way or getting any type of commission off of it. I'm just trying to help my fellow riders out there that don't have a lot of money. I'm trying to help you find some deals out there. And that Ninja 650 is pretty proper for $1,800. Pretty low miles on it too. Number three, a 2008 Kawasaki Vulcan. For those of you guys just like to cruise out here on the streets, Pretty cool looking bike and can do pretty much anything you wanted to do out here on the streets. Yeah, you're not going to be flying by people at high speeds, but I will tell you, you will enjoy that bike. I've heard a lot of, a lot of positive things about the Kawasaki Vulcans, uh, even the smaller bikes. And that bike can be had for $1,600. That's it. Is that cheap or what? Fantastic deal. And I, oh man, and you don't, these, you know, these bikes I'm talking about, you don't even really need to get these insured. You know, somebody steals it. I mean, you don't want your bike stolen, but man, you're not going to probably cry over 2,000, 2,000 bucks. So you can get the cheapest insurance on these bikes. So you're going to be riding for extra cheap out here. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo, I'm a YZ, baby. Uh, but anyways, number two on my list. A 2014 Honda CB500R. <laughs> Proper. Low pretty, uh, but it is a salvage title. Now, I know you're going to say Cycle Cruiser. Salvage title, you can't get full insurance on. You can't, you don't want full insurance on, on any of these bikes anyhow. They're too cheap, man. You know what I'm saying? Just get the basic insurance on it. But anyways, the price on that bike is $2,000. That's cheap. For a CB500R 2014, pretty low miles on it. You can take the fairies off of it, make it a street fighter. But anyways, that brings me to number one, which I've recommended in the past as a fantastic bike for new riders, is a 2014 Kawasaki Ninja 300. Now that's a proper bike, guys. I know a lot of people that have had that bike and it's an amazing little bike out here and it looks cool too and uh two thousand dollars for that you can't beat that with a stick man sick deal but there's a lot of cool bikes guys that you can get for really cheap two thousand dollars or less uh if you if you don't care about getting a salvage bike there's tons of deals out there man tons of deals out there and uh Man, you don't have to pay all these thousands and thousands of dollars like Cycle Cruiser is out here to have fun on a proper bike out here. You can get a proper bike for $2,000 or less, and you don't have to get a Chinese bike either. <laughs> Gotta look proper. So you, get, so you can talk to the ladies out here who can care less about you. <laughs> on your motorcycle trying to look cool out here on the streets. But anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.